first one we're going to look at employs what we call the palm of the heel for a, a tiger claw strike. Okay? To make the tiger claw, basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull the wrist right back and we're going to claw the fingers. The striking area that we're looking at is the palm heel area. Now this strike has two kind of variations. The first is a piston, i.e. a straight on strike here with this column of bone. This is probably the, the most destructive hand tool that we have. We're also going to curl the fingers here to act as a piston and a bit of a shock absorber here, so rather than keeping a straight hand. And also if my target is frontal, have a, a reliable chance of impacting an eye with these clawed fingers. That's not the objective, it's secondary. The main objective is to hit hard with the palm anywhere on the skull. The targeting in combatis is what we call generic, it's general. So the upper line area depicts anywhere from this uh, vital L area from the shoulders across up to the sides of the neck, 360 degrees around the skull. In the terms of the tiger claw, what I'm looking at doing is hitting the skull anywhere. Anywhere on the head, around the side, around the back, on the chin, on the forehead, anywhere with massive impact enough to shake the brain. If I shake the brain, it crashes against the inside of the skull and I'll get a knockout as long as my, uh, my impact is good enough. So the tiger claw strike for the, uh, is anywhere on the head. If it's a frontal strike, W.E. Fairbairn from World War II said that the um, tiger claw strike was the most logical strike worked out for a frontal face attack. He likes to prioritise the eye, but as I said, it's a secondary target. So in a piston sense, what I would do is I would line this hand up and throw a straight in shot from here. Dropping my weight, so I'm going to drop my body weight. All the strikes that we practice will accompany either hip torque, where I'm going to twist the hip in, or the dropping of body weight. So I can get my full um, 14 and a half stone behind this shot. Okay. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to line him up here. If there's no option other than to strike, I want to be preemptive. I'm going to drop weight, fire the shot into the face. If he slides and turns away from me slightly or flinches here, I'm still going to throw the shot. Hit the side of the head. Okay? So the first way that we employ the target strike is straight in as a piston like shot. Another way that we can use it is what we call like a whipping strike. If I'm up close here with him and my hands are high, kind of with the escalation fence, I'm going to kind of drop my weight forward and whip this down. Okay, it's just going to whip it down like this. Now I am targeting the eyes. I'm looking to claw anywhere into here and just tear down on his face. Okay? So from this motion here, I'll drop forward. I won't cock back and pull it back. Just from here, I'll drop here and, sh and uh, slash down, just like you see a cat lashing out. So from here my motion is going to hit in the face, I'm going to rip down until I touch my own thigh. So here I drop forward, here, here. That's the tiger's claw.